Hello, I'm Paul DeWinner with AEA Technology, and today we're going to be talking about the 2020 TDR. In this segment, we're going to be talking about some of the user features and setups in the AEA Technologies 2020 TDR. The F1 menu, when pressed one time, uh, will show you the what's behind the F2 to F5 menus if you're looking to find a particular feature or setting. Press enter to return to the measurement screen. The F2 menu has a backlight timer setting for how long you want the backlight on, a brightness for the backlight, contrast setting. Contrast setting is important because it's temperature sensitive. Use higher numbers for colder temperatures, lower numbers for uh, warmer temperatures. There's a baud rate setting, key beat, and a battery menu. I'm going to come down to the battery menu real quick, show you a couple of items. In here it will tell you battery saver on or off. If battery saver is off, it will continue to run. If it's on, it will shut the instrument down uh, with no key press in five minutes. Uh, it will tell you the type of battery you have selected in here, nickel metal hydride or a NICAD for charging. You can change to alkaline or off to turn off the charger. And it will tell you the uh, battery's capacity and the runtime uh, available on the battery in hours and inf other information. We'll press uh, enter to escape this. The other settings key is the F3 key. And in here, you'll see, be able to see the vertical scale or the impedance setting on this side, the uh, span or the range at which you're looking at on the cable, plot start, which is important to have at zero, which is the connector on here. If plot start is further out, you'll be blind out to there. And this is a way of moving out on the cable or racing a test lead. Uh, the units measurement for feet or meters. There are grid lines you can turn on. And finally, uh, the big numbers on here. When you were looking at the measurement earlier, big numbers appear over here on the left with the cursor key as such. 